party people. Welcome once again to the Party of One podcast, an RPG podcast built for two. I am your host as always, Jeff Stormer. This week marks the return of Comics Alliance and Arcade Sushi's Luke Brown to the show, as we wrap up our tech-noir two-parter, Faith in the Valley of Darkness. I was so excited to get Luke back on the show to finish telling the story, and I'm really happy we finally get to share that story with all of you. Interested in coming on to the show as a guest? Send me an email at partyofonepodcast at gmail.com. Whether you're a game designer, a podcaster, or just a fan, whether you're a seasoned role player or you've never played a game before, I'd love to have you on the show. And with all that said, I'm going to throw it over to me in the past so he can get things rolling. Take it past me. Thanks, you, Jermaine. I'm super excited. Coming back to the show, second time, gold tier, friend of the show, is uh, Luke Brown. Luke, how you doing, buddy? Good. How are you? I'm doing really well. I'm doing super well. How's it How's it going? How's everything going? Things are Things are going you know, as they do in life. Uh, happy to be back with uh, my futuristic detective of sorts. Sci-fi dystopia action. Yes, I've, I've missed her tremendously. I have as well. I really enjoyed the last episode. I think this is going to be a really good one. Get to watch some conspiracies unfold. I'm very excited. Yeah, so we're playing Tech Noir again. We're, uh, we're once again joining Faith. Let's see. Let's. Uh, so last time, when we last left our hero, she was... Uh, investigating the death of Detective Michelangelo Dumas. She was tapped by local uh, arms dealer Sid Martini to figure out why he was killed and if it had anything to do with a black market syringe of an anti-aging chemical. Upon arriving in, at the apartment, it was discovered that uh, Dumas was bitten in the snake by a serpent, so to speak. There was a run-in with some police, which I'm going to touch on in a second, but it was also discovered that Michelangelo Dumas was married to Pi Larson, a cybernetic surgeon who actually outfitted Faith with some of her uh, implants. I don't think I missed anything. I think there was a there was a, a corn fed hotel front desk clerk, <laughs> but I think that was it. I think that's up to speed. Yeah, yeah, we we we, in, we investigated the uh, motel room. That was that was kind of where we left things. Yes. Just... Uh, yeah, I remember. Um, Okay, so first things first, I want you to make me – we're going to make a roll real quick. Okay. Because you had suffered um, an adjective of infamous last time, okay. which was wiped away when you kind of talked your way out of the police being suspicious of you. So I'm going to ask you now to go ahead and make me a coax roll. Okay. To see if you can uh, improve one of your skills because you got hurt and then got better. All right. One, one or two dice. Um, it's equal to your coax, which I, which is either one or two. I don't remember. I believe. So it's one plus whatever bonuses you have you marked in character creation. I only have one die for that. Okay. So go ahead and make me a roll. Yeah, yeah, just one for that one. Okay. Okay. I got a three. Okay. Um, now, question: What is your hack rating at the moment? I have a hack. Uh, I have one hack. Okay, yeah, so you can actually bump that up by another – by one. Okay. Because the way uh, like recovery of injury works in Tech Noir is when you get better, uh, if you fail at a roll, it becomes primed for improvement later. And when you wipe away uh, a negative adjective, you get the opportunity to improve that stat. Okay. So because you failed at hacking last time, you primed it for improvement, and then when you uh, uh, wiped away that infamous adjective – you got you basically got to bump up your hacking a little bit. Okay, that's cool. So now you get an extra dice in hacking in the future. All right, plus one to hack. Yes. So when we last left off, you were leaving the apart. You were leaving the motel. You had just uploaded Dumas's uh, phone files to your computer, and you had pieced, uh, picked through his wallet to discover that there was a business card inside from an establishment called Trashies, which was a gentleman's club. And on the card for Trashies was a shot of a woman from about, like, the tip of the nose down. So from her, like, lower belly button – or from her lower abdomen to, like, the tip of her nose. And across her chest, she was holding a snake. Okay. And that was where we had left. That was the, the big cliffhanger. All right. So I, am I, I – now remind me. Am I in the, back in the car and I have a ride again or am I just – like no, you had you had already gotten the ride back to your apartment, so okay. you're at your 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 base of operations. Okay. Which let me ask, what does Faith's apartment look like? What's her what's her what's her li- what's her living arrangement? Oh, it like? is not pleasant. <laughs> 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 it is it it is a very cluttered home. Many bits and bobbles of 
improvised uh, hacking devices All left, right. left over from uh, either previous, you know, uh, excursions or failed attempts at making something on the cheap. Makes sense. You know, no, she has a bed, uh, but it is the equivalent of a futuristic Murphy bed. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Uh, it's always out uh, because of course. If, if I put it back in the wall, it will never come back down uh, because that space will immediately be cluttered. Yeah, right. So, yeah, no, no, no paperwork anywhere though because this is the future and we're we're going green. Yeah, of course we're off, we're on we're all on the grid now. Now, follow up question: How did you so accurately describe my apartment? <laughs> So what is Faith's next move? All of Dumas's files are on your computer. You've got the business card. You've sort of waived suspicion of the police for now. What are what are Trashy's hours of operation? Trashy's opens at 5 p.m. and it is open until 5 a.m. Okay. They close at the morning light. Yeah, it it's currently late. I think it. I think we said it was fairly late in the evening. It will say probably like midnight ish. Is when I got home. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Hmm. You know what? So what we're gonna do? We're actually gonna take a little nap. Okay. Uh, because I want to get there at like four thirty. Makes sense. You know the 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 dusk of uh, erotic dancer uh, timelines. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. <laughs> you know it's like uh, when uh, in Rain of Fire, right? Like the dragons can't see at dusk. Yeah, right. So so strippers uh, in in this in my version of this world, like aren't as keen on their senses at the the twilight hour of stripping. Well, sure. Like, it's, you know, late in the shift. They've been working for a while. I get it. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so you're taking a nap. So you're going to head over there around 4.30? Yeah. Okay. So, um, it's not far from your apartment. It's on, it's in the low, sort of the lower end of town. So I'm going to say you can get there by walking. You don't need to tap a favor to get a ride. Okay. So you kind of stroll down there. And upon arrival, you look around at the club. To your surprise, it is not the low-end strip joint that you thought it was. It's it's very, very West Coast in that it is a burlesque and cocktail joint with a with the decoration motif of a low-end strip joint. That's so the name is uh, ironic. Oh, good. One of those clubs. Yeah. Uh, standing you walk in and the concierge, um, a woman in her early 20s wearing a bikini top and leather pants, um, wave, like waves you down. Hello, welcome to Trashies. Would you like a table for one or would you like to sit by the bar? And the thing that you notice is uh, you, you notice just from sort of the, sh- the sort of the shape of her jaw as well as a snake tattoo on her the side of her stomach that this is the woman holding the snake from the business card that you have from Dumas. Okay. Uh, I'll take a seat at the bar. Right this way. Uh, I should warn you that our normal our normal entertainment is um, indisposed at the moment. We do apologize. We at Trashies appreciate your patronage. Good day. <laughs> okay. And she like sits you down real sourly. She kind of walks you over to a seat at the bar. Would you like a drink or perhaps a appetizer platter? You know what? Uh, I'm a little hungry. I will like to try the appetizer platter. <laughs> All right. She she puts some things into a computer or into a little data pad on her in her hand. They a few minutes later, um, someone brings out a you know pretty bog standard diner appetizer sampler. There's some chicken fingers. There's okay. a couple onion rings, some mozzarella sticks. Feeling it? Yeah. It's okay. It's not great. So the show starts, and uh, a guy, um, a DJ comes out. The DJ comes out. So we know that everyone was very excited to close the night out with a performance from Viper, but there has been technical difficulties with uh, her dance partner. So instead, you can enjoy the the wild retro dancing of Janie Olsen. <laughs> And she does like what a uh, tremendous dancer <laughs> name. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So she comes out and she then she starts dancing. So what are you doing as this is all going on in front of you? Beyond being entranced by the the tremendous moves of Janie Olson. Well, uh, so I'm I'm kind of taking in the uh, 
the scenery here, uh, 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 trying to understand the clientele a little bit, a little bit about the operation itself, since the uh, it already kind of changed my expectations of what to expect. I thought sure. it would be a little uh, seedier, just based on the name, and thus a little uh, more loose with the clientele but it doesn't seem that way okay um make me a roll we're gonna do a roll and put an adjective on the crowd of observed or something to that effect okay so make me a roll of i want to say let me look at the skill list real quick Mm -hmm. give me a roll of detect okay good i get three rolls on this one and we'll put the difficulty at two all right. Well, my first two, I got a six and a four, so you're good. All okay. right. So um, you've got three push dice. You can use you can you can spend one of them to make this a sticky adjective, or or spend two to make it a permanent, or you can keep it as a fleeting thing. I'll keep it fleeting for now. Okay. So you're looking around. Um, what you notice is it's a lot of low end studio representatives. <laughs> It's a lot of like um, short film producers, that kind of thing. Guys that guys that in L.A. think that they are a much bigger mover and shaker than they are. Mm-hmm. So they're the ones at a burlesque joint at four thirty in the morning wearing a suit and tie. That's like the ties undone, and they're being real sweaty. Okay. That's really like the clientele. There is, there are two. Well dressed, like very immaculately dressed guys with earpieces in, in the corner, and you're looking around. You notice the thing you notice is that they're not watching Janie Olsen at the on the bar or in the, in the stage rather. Their their eyes are keenly locked on this um, snake tattooed concierge. Okay, and they're kind of whispering to each other. Interesting. Trying to look here at my thing. I don't think I have anything that could really help me listen in on the conversation. So, uh, is is so the lady who sat me down and after she put stuff in the computer, she left. So is no, there? Any, well, she's at the she's at like the front, like in the front. Sure. But the, so, so is there like a bartender still here, or is it all computerized? It's pretty much all computerized. The, somebody somebody will bring you over your drink when you order it, but you just put it in on a data pad, and then they like wheel it over. Okay, so there's nobody really like behind the counter that I can get a little gossip from. If you buy a drink, like you could probably chat up the person that brings it over. Okay, all right, let's uh, let's let's buy a drink. Okay, so you plug in, so you you, you put in an order. A scruffy, a scruffy late teenager with like a shaggy, a shaggy haircut <laughs> and like the pube chin beard walks over. Here's your drink. Uh, thanks. Uh... I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. Uh, you know, I came here specifically. Someone told me the 4:30 Viper show was the show to see. It's, it's yeah. There were technical difficulties. Um, I mean, you can ask her. She's working front. She's working concierge tonight. I but she came in and said she couldn't do the show, so we kind of had to make do. I've been told if anybody really complains, to give them a free drink. So if you'd like, I can just. Uh, waive the fee on your drink but otherwise that's really all we can do i'm sorry well i appreciate the free drink uh thanks for the info and uh, i i will go chat up viper and see when the next time she'll be in town uh dancing is okay that's thanks all right have a nice night weirdos okay so what's your next move all right so the guys with the earpieces are just kind of like listening in but they're not like hovering over her are they no they're at a table look trying to look as discreet as possible okay all right so i take my drink and i make my way over to uh casually chat up uh the woman i now know as viper can i help you ma'am is there a problem no there's no problem i just uh i was chatting with the young gentleman over by the bar and uh you know i explained to him that uh i had I had heard the 430 Viper show was the show, and uh, I'm a little disappointed we're not going to get to see you dance tonight. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. There was – there was a – you know what? It's crap. Like, you, you'll, 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 you'll understand. This is this is crap. 
me tell you that because they said I was supposed to have my snake back by today, and all of a sudden I'm emailing Saito, and they're like, oh, there's still problems on the recall. So, like, what the hell is even that about, right? Oh, tell me about it. Yeah, because they, they put out this mandatory recall on my synthetic snake and like three days ago, and they said it was going to take 24 hours tops. But then all of a sudden, first off, they're not even responding to my calls. And then when I finally get a hold of somebody – they're like, oh, it's, you know, there's one of those technical diff problems with your snake's AI interface. And it's like, what's – sorry, I'm rambling. That's OK. I mean it's, it's a shame you know, that you're, 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 you're put out. Now you have to stand up here instead of showing your craft for the fine clientele. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm really good if I do say so myself. I feel like I should be on stage. I'd rather be on stage, but here I am. So, Well, you know, and what's worse, it's – technically money out of your pocket i mean i can't when was the last time you you danced though it was like four five nights ago i had off a couple nights ago but yeah like five days ago i guess so i mean you know you're you're losing your money because they can't get you right and because it's already their problem i it's it's you know what who do you, who did you talk to over there about this um hold on i can pull it up her name is uh, – she pulls out her phone. Her name is Carla. She was a customer service rep at Saito International. Well, you know what? I'll let you know a little secret. I also work customer service over at Saito International. You're seriously? I'm going to have a talk with Carla. I'm going to see what we can do. We're going to fix this. Seriously? 100%. That, are you messing with me right I now? I am not. You're not one of these creepers that's going to come in here and lie to me? On my honor as a Saito customer service representative. Wow. Okay. Wow. Thank you. I That would mean so much. Yeah, let me give you my – and she um, pulls out her card. It's actually identical to the one that you already have. She pulls out her card. Here you go. This is my um like personal dancer card if you want to schedule like a, a private dance or anything or just chat. Give me an update. Like my information is on the back. Okay. I'm going to see what I can do. I'm not going to promise tomorrow. I'm not going to promise the day after, but I'm going to promise to resolve it. At that moment, you see the two men in the corner stand, like, slowly stand up and start, like, looking over in your direction. Okay. Uh, so, Viper, keep the faith, and I will see you and be in contact with you very soon. Thank you. I really, I really appreciate that. And then I leave. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you walk out. You walk out, and immediately uh, the two men walk out behind you. Okay. Walk out behind you. Um, excuse me. Can we, uh, we speak with you for a moment? I'm sorry. Who are you? I really need to get going. Uh, our names aren't really important. That's fine. We Neither just is what I have to say. So I'm just going to keep going. They uh, start running behind you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, since I. This is close to my house, so I know the neighborhood. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I run to the closest alley I know has a shortcut. Okay. Okay, make me a roll uh, using your prowl. Okay. And we'll see if we can like put an adjective on these guys to the effect of lost or something. Okay. And you have three dice if you want to add – three push dice if you want to add anything to that from your um, – adjectives equipment or any adjectives you have on you which i don't think you have any on you i don't think so okay i roll a four okay let me pull up their info yeah yeah you easily you like narrowly like move around them to sort of get back into your apartment okay actually as you're like taking a turn you you find yourself on a fire escape because you know that you can kind of like come up the fire escape, go across a lower landing, and then sort of slide into your apartment from there. Okay. So what you find, you actually hear them walk by, and you hear them say, oh, they're not going to be happy. She was asking a lot of questions. Yeah, but did she say she worked for Saito? Like, that should be fine, right? I don't think she actually worked for Saito, dude. I think she was lying. Oh, this is not good. This is not good, and then they're, and then they're gone. Okay. I think thoroughly lost you. Okay. So so the so I, I can it's clear that they didn't necessarily know me. They just knew someone was looking into the situation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not. I didn't. It's not like they're gonna just wind up back at my house. No, no, no. They were just. Um, 
you can kind of gather that they were just sort of watching her to make sure nobody asked the wrong questions of her Got it. about anything involving her or her snake. Okay. All right. All right. So now I'm back home. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, within this game realm, the equipment I have at my disposal in my own place, I mean, am I, am I able to do my own things? I don't need to seek out someone else to like hack anything, right? No, you have a, um, you have that interface, you have the, your interface to the web, so okay. you can do whatever you need to from there. Okay. All right. So now that I'm home, I have a little bit of information. I want to access Saito's customer uh, inquiry reports so okay. I can kind of track the service record of uh, Viper's snake. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, so make me a hack roll. Okay. Yeah, make me a hack roll. We'll say difficulty of... We'll say difficulty of three. All right, I got a five and a two, so... Yeah, okay, you're good. So so we'll put an adjective of, um, like, infiltrated okay. on Saito, such that you can kind of use that to your advantage later. Um, okay, so what the first thing you... The first thing is... Saito International is a multinational entertainment conglomerate. Their tagline sort of semi-unofficially is, we're the star of your favorite movie, whether or not, whether you knew it or not. Okay. Basically, they handle – they're known for handling – they're uh, like a multi-department thing. They're just known for handling basically everything in a movie that isn't a person. So there's a department for makeup. There's a department for like pharmaceuticals. There's a department for synthetics. Like prosthetics, and props, that kind of thing. Okay. So as you're going through customer reports, you see a lot of like there was a problem on a movie set, or there was you know somebody's information, somebody's like makeup uh, thing was missing an, an applicator, that kind of stuff. When you track, you do you do track down a report regarding Candy, and it says, it "Was Candy the, the name of the snake?" I'm sorry. Candy is the name of the performer. It says on her thing, it says Candy Orton, alias Viper. Oh, all right. You threw me off. All right. I had forgotten to convey that, which is odd because I was real proud of that pun. So Candy Orton. Man, we need to get you some new hobbies. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, there's a report. And what's weird is that there's no mention on her customer service report of – like a recall or anything like that. The report itself from the, like written by the customer service representative says that her snake was submitted due to various malfunctions, like various uh, malfunctions to such and such interface. It's a lot of technical lingo, but it completely does not match what she completely does not match the reasons that she said that the snake was turned in. Okay. So one of these two reports is falsified. Okay. Now how many, uh, now she had spoken to to Carla. Uh, I would assume numerous yes, times. Yes, Carla. Carla is the one that filed the initial report. Okay. So how many? Do, is there like a record of how many times uh, Candy has called or inquired back in after the initial? Because she said, you know, they contacted her uh, at least a second time to say it was still under. Uh, repair. Yeah, it says. Actually, it does it says that she called multiple times to check in and it just says like call was pleasant it's clear that the level of detail in the initial report that carla filed completely does not match the level of detail that she's providing in future things it's almost like she's like it's almost like she's filing it just to do her due diligence and then sweeping all the details under the rug okay all right so now what i want to do is uh take a look at some of uh carla's other uh recent reports and kind of see okay. how they sync up well the first thing you notice as you're going through carla's other reports is that despite the fact that this was supposedly a company-wide recall there were there's no other reference to any sort of recall on the uh like on the various uh, reports that you're looking through okay all right now uh on that initial report yeah it's a very detailed report. So, are the is there like a model number or like a VIN number that I can for that I can track? Yeah. Yes, there is. Okay. Yeah. So l let me see what happens if I try to uh, bring up 
more than a customer service report on that particular snake. Okay, um, you pull it up and it says it gives you like a detailed history. It says it was originally built for like an action adventure picture. After the movie, it was sold and re- sold as refurbished, purchased by C. Orton. Um, and then it says like returned for man returned for maintenance on this date. And then the last thing that it says is shut down police activity currently under investigation. So they have a record of it being shut down, but yeah. the record is not in her report. In, yeah, and it makes no it makes no mention that she has been told this either. Okay, all right. So then, that's leaning me to believe that Candy is not the one lying in this situation, coupled with the fact that the Saito people were like watching her. So I mean, obviously, you don't say anything, but that's I'm just letting you know where I'm leaning. I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep that under wraps. So, all right. So now I know that. Let's try to think if there's any other information I kind of want to dig around in on here. Let me, while I'm in here, can I like, can I ping a, a, a search for uh, Michael's name? Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. You find a number of calls filed as uh filed under infraction reports for personal phone call during work hours between Dumas and Cytopharmaceutical sort of Cytopharmaceutical like surgeon Pi Larson. Okay. You find a number of like things that be like they were talk they had a personal call blah 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 and you also the most but the most recent you find is not to Pi Larson but it is in fact to it was in fact to the general uh like customer support thing Stating that he had lost track of a needle that he or he it, it just says that he was very unruly. He would he the report uh, is quoted to say that he was rambling about a needle and he was concocting conspiracy theories around it. It says that um, you know he was he was uh, amicably talked down. Status of the status of the Orion pathogen is currently unknown. Okay, so this the needle doesn't have a, a, th- a code, but what was in the needle has a name. So now, yeah. So now uh, I'm falling down a a, 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 a cyto wiki hole here, and yep. uh, so now I'm gonna ping the Orion pathogen and see what that sure. comes around. Sure. Um, it generally, you find it is you find out the Orion pathogen is an anti aging solution. You know, far future makes everybody look super young and hot. In the way that all future chemicals do, right. you find an email from Larson from, of about um, a little over a week ago that says that like it's marked as high importance. It says major side effects. Do we have to call? We have to recall the latest batch. Like somebody, please have please have somebody call me ASAP. Okay. Hmm. Very interesting. Now. If I recall correctly, in this game, Pi is one of my connections. Yes. And she is a person. And I, now I wrote down the the trust archetype here. Now, is that yep. I trust her or she trusts me? You trust her. Okay. And actually, this comes up because you get a text. Actually, I'm going to ask you a question after you get this text because it's important for what comes after. Okay. You get a text from Pi Larson right. on your phone that just says, "Did in all capital letters, did you tell the police that we're fucking call me ASAP? <laughs> so my question, because <laughs> we didn't clarify this last time, yes, and this is important. Very much so. Were you actually in a relationship with Pi Larson and Michelangelo Dumas, or were you just saying that? <laughs> You know, that's a good question. I, you know, in the moment, I wasn't really thinking about the truth of that. But I think, in all honesty, just because I am close friends with her, I felt comfortable enough to make that lie. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. So, yeah, that's the text you got. It just says in all capital letters, did you tell the police that we're fucking call me ASAP? Okay. All right. Well, so now it's like super early in the morning, though, right? Yeah, it's like um, 
you left there. You got there around. You left around four thirty. You got there around four forty-five. You probably it. So it's probably about five five fifteen now. Okay. So all right, and if I got that text came in just like now. Yeah. Okay. Boy, these police don't they ever sleep? Uh, there's a there's a murder. Yeah, but they they still like pay respect to the people like. They don't just go knocking on your door uh, if they have a couple questions at the, at five in the morning. They, they'll wait till you're awake. I would think. I don't know. How, I don't yeah, know how well, future things, works. Things work differently in LA. Yes. Okay, so let's uh, let's put this search on hold. I guess I've been in this back okay. end long enough. I don't want to linger and get caught. Sure. So sure. I'll exit out of all this stuff. I've made all the mental notes, and uh, I'm gonna give uh, I'm gonna give Pi a call. Okay. Actually, before you do that, I am going to make a roll against you. Okay. What is what is your hack skill? Well, it's plus one to whatever it was. I only had one. Okay, so two. Okay. They're going to roll it. They're going to roll two dice. You still have three push dice, and you have that one adjective if you want to add. Uh, if you want to increase that by one, and you want to increase that number at all, you can spend your push dice between your gear, your qualities, and your adjective of infiltrated on the network mm. i roll a five and a three so you can you have enough pitch points that you can wipe this so that you can evade this if you want if you can justify it with two uh with your adjectives uh equipment or no. uh, like the fact you know that you infiltrated the network i'm gonna i'm gonna let my sloppiness for letting that text message distract me okay uh ruin whatever chances i had at sneaking out okay so your hack skill is primed again okay. because you uh you took damage and i am going to i don't have any points to make it sticky so you just have a fleeting adjective of detective okay. that might come up that might come up at some point or it might not we'll see how the game goes yeah so you log out of the network nothing everything seems of the or, uh nothing seems out of the ordinary Okay. What's your next move? Oh, so I uh, call Pi. It barely gets through like one and a half rings before she picks up. What the hell did you tell police? Good morning to you, too. Yeah. No. Yeah. Great. Good morning. You know how I got woken up? A phone call that said that I was in some sort of sex triangle with my ex-husband and what I thought was my trusted friend. Well, I mean, don't tell me you haven't thought about it. <laughs> Look, I, I told you that one time, one time, while we were drinking. You know, yeah, don't try, don't try to turn this around on me, okay? Okay, okay. This isn't, this isn't on me. Look, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't realize that they were gonna implicate anything to you so quickly. I just acted in the moment. I'm, I was working, trying to find out what happened. What were you even doing there? I just explained. I'm trying to find out what happened. Are you working for Sid again? The particulars are in flux at the moment <laughs> as to exactly where and who uh, I am working at the moment. But uh, I am not one to turn down a paycheck. Not everyone can have an illustrious job at Saito. Well, first off, I don't have that job anymore. So thank you for that. I'm doing well, by the way. I'd have thought you'd have seen me talk about it on Twitter, but I guess not. Uh, we're still using Twitter? God, you're so retro. Twitter is the ultimate in microblogging, okay? <sighs> I guess, if you really just want your stuff all out there in 10,000 character tweets <laughs> in do. the future. I do, uh, Well, I, I did not know. Uh, I was under the impression that you were still employed based on information that I don't have <laughs> <laughs> yeah they let me go i'm not super happy about it if i'm being honest i'm sorry when when did that happen like a few days ago about um yeah a couple days ago so it's pretty fresh i mean we're still i'm still i legally can't say too much about it because i'm talking about it with my lawyer but since you keep uh digging i can tell you that there was a discussion they chose to let me go i disagree with the decision 
Okay, listen. Let me do you this solid. You've had a hard week. Okay. And you're to make things up for not being there for you when you lost the job and for telling people that we had a lot of sex. <laughs> Let's go get breakfast and we can talk about it in person. Okay, but you're buying. I'll, we'll figure that out. Get, okay, you fine. Are, I'm buying. You are predictable. I am buying. <laughs> click. Okay. Yeah. So what's your favorite breakfast spot? What's Faith's favorite breakfast spot? Oh, where, where are we man. meeting for breakfast? Whatever place has the best chicken and waffles. That would be um, Howie Mandel's Chicken and Waffle Hut. Perfect. I, l- I love Howie Mandel's Chicken and <laughs> Waffle Hut. After retiring from acting, he became a chicken and waffle magnet, and now he's a billionaire. So, I mean, who could blame him? Ter- His chicken and <laughs> waffles are so good. This is the terrifying future that we live in. Um, yeah, you guys meet at Howie Mandel's Chicken and Waffle Hut. A guy with a with a glove on his head greets you. Oh, hang on, is this the Howie Mandel's Chicken and Waffle Hut, or like one of them? Oh, this is one okay. of. Let's not. I don't know. I, I don't know if we're going to original Howie Mandel's <laughs> or like famous Howie Mandel's or. There's usually a crowd at original how famous at original Howie Mandel's Chicken and Waffle Hut okay. because sometimes Howie Mandel is there doing bits. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> So you have to go to the, you have to go to the other one, which isn't as nice. It's a little bit more chainy, but uh, it's fine. I mean, it's still pretty good chicken and waffles. I mean, let's oh, be yeah. real. I mean, the recipe doesn't change. I just wanted to know yeah. if if there was a chance there was going to be like Bobby's World reruns on while we were there. Yeah, those those play on those play around like it's Bobby's Run and then Deal or No Deal are played like back to back. Wow. But no, America's Got Talent. <laughs> Nope. Okay. No, no, no. They, they sweep that under the rug. Got it. This is the terrifying future that we live in. So you guys are there. You're sat by a guy with a glove on his head like a balloon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and she's like um, she's nursing a coffee. You see her open a flask and pour uh, some alcohol into it. OK. You want a shot? Yeah. One for me, please. All right. Yeah. So she hits your she shoots you up your coffee with some some booze and. It's been a yeah, it's been a rough uh, couple days. Um, it's yeah. How's things going with you? Today's not about me. I I've messed up. Uh, so let's let's just let's just get you to a place where you don't feel so bad. Yeah, I. You know what? This is why we're friends. This is why we're friends. You admit you messed up, and you're doing what you need to make it right. Well, you know, when you're friends as long as we have been friends, which is a long time because it's the future. Uh, it is. <laughs> you know, the, it, there's very few things in this world you could trust besides another actual living, breathing human being. So she starts telling you about um, a lot of things. She tells you that she and Michelangelo had just about finalized the divorce, that he very amicably uh, agreed to the uh, move at like move the last of his things out, and he was staying. That's why he was staying in the hotel that he was staying in. And then she, she leans in real close. <sighs> Are you cool? Can I can I talk to you about something and keep it like under the record? Don't tell any arms dealers or whoever the hell else you're hanging out with nowadays. Yeah, I mean, obviously, girlfriend. That's why we're here. Okay. So here's the deal. I figured something out. There was a. <laughs> There was an incident, and I'm talking – like I said, I'm talking to my lawyer about it, so I can't – you know, this is all off the record because I could get in trouble for talking about this. But I was – you know, I used to – you know, I did the pharmaceutical work during the day, and then I spliced people at night. That was my deal. It was a pretty good gig. They looked the other way for the splicing. I looked the other way for whatever the hell else they did. So we had – and she um, she pulls out her thing. I'm going to send you a fi- – I'm going to send you a video file. I want you to watch it. She sends it through to your headset. Okay. It is of a man in a ch- like sitting in a chair in an empty room. He's wearing medical scrubs, or he's wearing like a patient onesie thing, okay. of which I don't remember the name. Yeah, he's sitting in there. A voice comes through in the loudspeaker. Patient one zero two eight, please stand up and do a jumping jack. And it's the patient slowly stands up, lurches forward like is barely 
cognizantly standing and then just does the most textbook uh, jumping jack that you've ever seen. All right. Patient one one zero two eight, please sit down. And the patient sort of lurches back in the chair. Does that seem weird to you? What exactly am I looking at? This was a chemical trial. To this was a trial uh, that I ran using after. Um, basically, we had a new. We were trying a new batch. We were ordered to make a new batch of the Orion pathogen. You know, we were told just that uh, some crow's feet were coming through on camera and to sort of add in a few chemicals to counteract that. Standard stuff, you know, Hollywood is what it is. Then this started happening. Um, There were reports that people were very open to suggestion. So we tested it, and the people were very open to suggestion. Like, extremely open to suggestion. But just for simple tasks, or, I mean, how suggestive skip ahead to about 10 minutes into the video okay i skip ahead the man the man is now wearing a clown wig the man is now wearing a clown wig standing on one leg uh patient 1028 slap yourself in the face and one leg he just rears up and slaps the crap out of his face he wipes out the clown wig goes flying real open to suggestion and this is something that Saito has in production uh you know i i made the call to stop it they and they pretty much fired me on the spot so they may have kickstarted production again uh but so i guess short answer probably did michael have any of this (sighs) he you know the reason i asked if you were dealing with sid was because i found out when we were finalizing some paperwork that he had been calling sid that's it's a little bit of a sensitive subject is why I'm sorry. I know I know I yelled at you. To be fair, you did implicate me in some sort of sex cult. It's fine. Well, now hang on now. <laughs> Let's be fair. It's the future. And I would like to say that sexuality just between three people is not a sex cult. That's fair. You know what? That's fair. Emotions are high. I get it. I'm sorry. That was me. <laughs> okay. Um, so I found out he was looking into the Orion pathogen for Sid. He wouldn't tell me why, but I have reason to believe that he maybe had a vial. He maybe had a needle of it. There might be more than an inkling of truth behind your concern. What makes you say that? Some things I have come across implicate that not only did he have a needle and some of the serum but he may have been using it often oh does that jesus that's where that sample went oh no oh mikey what did you get into now i had a sample i had taken it kind of under off the books and had i was gonna you know test it Make sure it confirm that the chemicals I thought were in it were in it and go public. But if that but we need to get that vial back. If we can get that vial, then if we can get that needle, then we're good, right? Then we can I can expose Sido and we can maybe hopefully save some people. Lord knows what Mikey did with it, but it's just a matter of tracking that down, I guess. That might be pretty hard. <laughs> what makes you say that? Sido knows a lot about this already. Like how much a lot? I'm going to have to do more digging, but pretty sure they may have had Mike killed. How? No. No, no, no. And she just knocks back the coffee, spits some of it out. Fuck, that's hot. <laughs> ow, ow, she's And, like, she's just freaking out. You guys, uh, like, quietly finish your meal. The sound of Bobby's world has taken a dark turn, has become, has changed from a delightful romp through the mind of of America's favorite funny man to a dark walk through a pain, through a woman's painful discovery. And, but the waffle, chicken and waffles are okay, though. Thank God. You know what? (laughs) Nothing can ruin chicken and waffles. It's true. Especially when they're served to you by the jester of the airwaves. (laughs) You're finishing up the meal. She is just dead silent. She has not said a word to you in like 20 minutes. Okay. When two familiar faces walk into the chicken and waffle hut. Okay. Two well-dressed, two well-dressed men in earpieces. 
wearing the same outfits you saw them in last Those night. Those guys. What guys? What guys? Faith, what did you do? Listen, just stay here. Finish your meal. I was never here. Okay. Wait, uh, do we need to... And they walk over. They point uh, at the two of you. And they sort of like shove the shove the guy in the at the front aside. Okay. The glove on his head goes it pops and goes flying. Sure. And they start moving. Oh no, we gotta go. We gotta go now. So they um yeah okay cool. Let's do a roll off. Okay. To see if you guys can get out of the restaurant. Okay. Now it I'll I'll ask about this 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 restaurant here. Even though this sure. isn't the main one, is it still? relatively crowded or do the chain versions are they kind of like you know eh on attendance on a random morning eh on okay. attendance we they figured you know you guys were kind of able to um get tables pretty okay. quick so it's so not going to be pretty... a thing where it's like a crowded restaurant and i have to okay. no 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 the tourists are going to the okay. original okay. okay the tourists are going to see if howie mandel's going to sure. be there <laughs> do some comedy all right uh so what are we rolling for Roll me a – well, let me ask you, like, what are you doing with these guys sort of coming your way? And then that will determine what we roll okay. and what we roll against, what you're rolling versus. So we're still in my neighborhood, and this is my chicken and waffle place, my Howard sure. Mandel's chicken and waffles. <laughs> so I kind of know it, and I know, just like I knew the other night, how to get out and around and avoid these guys. So I grab her and I'm going to do a, uh, a dart through the, through the kitchen. Okay. Okay. Roll me, then roll me a prowl. They're going to roll their, and it's going to be versus their detect. I got a three and a two. All right. Yeah. So we did tied. So we'll say you don't, I think ties. Yeah. We'll say, uh, because, all right, we'll say because Pi is helping that you can get through okay. it, is what we'll say. Yeah, that makes sense. Pi is going to assist, and that'll be how that works. Okay. So you guys get through. You guys get through the back. Um, like the chef, the chef, and a couple of the waiters are like pushing them. Be like, you can't come back here. You can't come back here. And they kind of give like one of them gives you the subtlest of winks because you know you're a regular. Right. right. They know. They know you. Breakfast was great. See you guys later. We'll see you later. Have a great day. Bobby's World on DVD now. We're still using DVDs. <laughs> it's, it means a different thing. It was very confusing. Oh, okay. All right. Good. Yeah, so they um, you get out the back, um, uh, and Pi's car, the parking lot is out. There's a door uh, to the kitchen from the parking lot. So you're now in the parking lot. Pi points to her car. Uh, I've had a few shots. How are you feeling to drive? Good enough. Let's get it. Okay, the guys come out the front. They see you. You hop in the car. Pi does, despite being fairly drunk, does the most amazing Dukes of Hazard slide or, off of or her. Because onto- she is so drunk, she's able to That's do it. Tr- also valid. Yeah, she slides. She slides by. So now we're gonna do a car chase. Okay. Roll me an operate. Okay, I got that. to see if we can. Yeah, you know I am a pilot, so. All right, I got a four and a three. All right. And there, operate is... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like I said, you've got so you've got the three dice. You've got three push okay. points. Do you want to upgrade this from a fleeting from a fleeting thing to a, a stickier thing? Now when you, really when lose you them? say fleeting, does it, is it only for like the beginning of this car chase? Or does fleeting stick with me for the car chase? And then once we're out of the car, that's it. It's gonna. It'll. It'll probably go away. Like they're. They might be at a light. Yeah, we'll say they're at a light. Well, you kind of weave through. There's a light. It goes yellow. You hit okay. it. You. Je- you don't hit the car in front of you, but you really get real close. Pi is just screaming like, "Don't you wreck my right, car!" I will use a push point to. Uh, okay. To really so spend a push point. Stick it. Yeah. So then you you narrowly avoid hitting the hitting the car in front of okay. you. You turn down an alleyway. The car, it, the alleyway is almost too narrow for the car, but you drive through. They pull up the alleyway. Their car, they're driving a big honking SUV. You're driving a little like compact. Uh, they drive up. They can't get through the alleyway. So we'll. So there's an adjective on them now that is uh, stopped. Okay. So they're taken out. At least they're taken out for the encounter. So you've evaded them. Right. Okay. We can't go back to her house. So we're. Hmm. 
Interesting. Let's go to the mall. Okay. You guys hit the mall. It's busy. It's crowded. Malls have had a real resurgence since they've become digital storefronts for like Etsy mall, Etsy stores. So it's like big hopping. It's big hopping mall. All right, what are we doing here? This seems this seems weird. Okay. Well, I couldn't take you home right away because I'm not Fair. sure if they managed to track me or you and who they're following. So I came to the mall because it's big, public, and crowded, and. It'll buy us some time because it's open and we can just wander around without anybody wondering why we're here. That sounds good. And now I'm at a little bit of a loss. <laughs> okay. That's, that's so what I play in this whole one. You guys, uh, you get a pretzel. You're sitting. Okay. What do you, so I need you to, if, if this, if we're in this together now, I need you to be real with me. I need you to trust me that we're both on the level. Got it. How do you know that they may have had him killed? I was researching the snake that supposedly killed him. Sure. Wait, there was a snake? They said they said he had a heart attack. Induced by the bite of the snake. Jesus. Yeah. No, we deal in we deal in synthetics. That sounds like something we did. But the snake is technically stolen under false pretense by Saito, and its owner has no idea. And in researching okay. this, I came across some files that Michael was making a lot of noise about Orion. That son of a bitch. He was trying to blow the cues. That son of a... I hate that I still have feelings for that man. You love who you love. I... I... God... Damn it, I love who I love. I can't even... He was going to blow the case wide open. Well... We were doing the same thing together, and I'm just... Damn it. Be fortunate that it wasn't you. That's true. Yet. Yet. So, what's... um? Yeah, okay. I guess then... Okay, well then wait. I've got a thought. Hit me. If you... You're pretty good at this hacking stuff. I'm not a computer person. True enough. If you can get into their network again and pull up those customer service records, then even if we don't find the needle right away, we can at least prove that there's something shady going on with this. Whoever, who did you say had it? Was it was it just another another studio rep had the snake purchased? Let's not worry about who owned the snake right now. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah. So if you can talk to, if you can get. The snake owner on record and have the files that contradict that, then if nothing else, we can prove that something is shady happened with the snake. And then the needle, we can, the needle, then they can, then the police can track down at their leisure. Does that make sense? Does. I'm not so sure that's going to get us any resolution. What do you, why not? Saito's big. They're big, but at least it's, I mean... We may have to think something. outside the box on this one. Okay, what do you have in mind? As much as it's going to kill you, we need Sid's help. I I will not work with Sid Martini. Hmm. We pan, and you are in the room with Sid Martini. <laughs> Sid, we're in a bind. That's uh yeah I I what's uh, what's 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 going on? I assume that you've heard by now, so let's just stop playing the games. I I yeah I I've heard I've heard. You're not even gonna let me enjoy my chicken and waffles. Well, you know what? They are enjoyable. Eat. They are enjoyable. Uh, who am I to stop you from eating chicken and waffles? You know they say Howie Mandel comes to this one. This is why you come to the original. Somehow you always get a table. I do. That's because I'm an important man. When you're done, let's go someplace that's not this place and talk. <laughs> yeah, okay. We pan over again, and we're in uh, we're in Sid's apartment, which is the weirdest combination of super like classy and just no class okay. at all. So it's like super high end, like novelty stuff. <laughs> Like he has like the really nicest, like the just the top of the line speakers, and he's just blasting just shitty butt rock through them, stuff like that. Okay. All right, 
I got it. The tackiest wealthy man in the world. Well noted. So what's the plan, Katie? All right. First, we're going to need a new place to hide out until this thing cools out. Okay. I can provide that. You owe me, but I can provide Second, that. Second, whatever you and Michelangelo were up to, it is big and it is happening. And Saito is going to be a problem. I mean, yeah, they're always a problem. No. But I mean, they're going to be a problem. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, but I'm going to need a little bit of context. You mean, like, what's, I don't understand. We were, you know, I was just trying to buy him, buy my way into Michelangelo giving me that serum so I could turn it, so I could flip it. Are you telling me there's something more to it than that? There's a lot more to it than that. Now, okay, so now I got a uh, pie. Show him the video. Okay, she plays in the video. What in the flipping Kahooty? This guy's a gun runner? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. People surprise you, man. Come on. It's the future. It's, that, you're right. Okay. Fair. Wow. That's that's not good. I mean, with that, they could basically do whatever they wanted. Really? Right? I'm not crazy. That seems not good. Not good is two words I would use. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So that's – they're going to be a problem. I see what you're saying. So what's your plan? Mm -hmm. What's, where do I come in? What can I do to help? Well, you can help me come up with a plan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have not um, thought this through. Yeah. Um, but hmm. This is not me laughing. This is her laughing. Uh, uh, sure. I get it. This, we're, I know, we're, we're deep uh, yeah, in I know it's hard now. to tell sometimes who's, whose voice is really whose voice here when I'm there, but this is her. She has not thought this through one bit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Um I'll tell you what I can do. But like I said, you're going to owe me. This is going to be a big this is going to be a big one. I'm putting my guys on the line here. They I happen to know I have some guys in the warehouse that they're scheduling a shipment of this to a uh they're doing a drop off. They're transporting it from one warehouse to another. We can knock off that truck. We'll have the chemicals. You'll have to you'll have to you know explain away how you got a hold of some stolen chemical, but we can get you those chemicals. That ain't a problem. Now you just need to prove that they planted the snake, and you're golden. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. Okay. And when it all right, so when's Go this deal happening? Uh, the transit is happening this afternoon, so we're gonna have to act on it quick if we want it. If we want to act on it. So you're going to have to figure have to get a statement from this studio rep or whomever. Did you say it was an executive or something? Something. Okay. Fair enough. Uh you're going to have to talk to talk to them and get a statement and then probably grab a digital copy of that customer service report. If we have all of that, then we can go to the press. I got a guy on the paper, he'll publish an exposé, big dramatic reveal. We go out like big heroes. Okay. All right. Let's do it. All right. Put our hands in. We putting our yeah, hands on in. Three. I'm I'm not putting my hand in. <laughs> All right, three. And then they and then the two yes. of you do it and she just <laughs> pies just like This is my life now. This is my life now. Wonderful. What are you doing first? You got two objectives, or do you want to try to tell Pi to do one of them? Well, one one objective is me getting the girl on the record and the other yep. one is is what um fig getting the statement getting a digital copy of the statement from their the customer service report from their um database or whatever okay i should be able to do both of those easily enough on my own okay okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in f first to bring up okay. the customer service report before i talk to her so make me a, a hack roll and increase – we're going to say the difficulty is three, but I'm going to give you one of your push points back and up it to four because you were detected okay. earlier. So there's some extra right, fire five. in place. Okay, you're good. Yeah, you, you infiltrate. You're in. You find the customer service report, uh, and I presume you save it to your machine? Yeah, however that works. How okay, yeah. Yeah, you just copy and paste it into a Word okay. file. and then from That's that information, fine. I – while that's doing that, I'm ringing up Candy – Okay. 
Oh my gosh, Faith, I'm so happy to hear from you. Please tell me you have good news. Uh, you know what? It's been a week, and I'm kind of tired of being a concierge. Well, I have some good news. Okay, that usually implies you also have bad news. I don't well, like it's, that. I would but not call it bad continue. news. I would call it a uh, uh, what's news that you get that changes nothing. <laughs> Fair, okay, um, confused, but okay. I'm listening. So first, because this may uh, be recorded for uh, quality control, that is this is true. Trash is an upscale establishment. We like to make sure that our phone, that our customer service is our number one concern. Uh, I, we're going to have to go over your initial complaints uh, to start with, so that we have them okay. on record, and sure, then we'll go from there. So uh, let's start at the beginning. Okay. Your name, please. Candy okay. Orton. And the reason of your inquiry uh, is because you received a message from us. Yes. It stated there was a mandatory recall on all synthetic animals. On all synthetic animals, not just, uh, not just snakes, not just your particular model number. There is a, a, a bug in Cyto International's code for synthetic refurbished synthetic animals. It was specific to refurbished ones. They said that there was a bug, a bug involving, you know, opening it up to personal use. They said it was all very standard. Okay, and now I'm looking at your uh, report here and the information. Can you verify, in fact, the model number, VIN number, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah, and she provides all that information. Like you've got everything okay. you need. So as it turns out, it's uh, still in progress. However, at the moment. I have a tiny update, and the reason that this delay uh, has been so long is that there is a major problem with it, and it does not look like it will be returned. However, okay, soon enough, uh, we are going to provide you with a completely brand new synthetic model. I, I for like all the, the trouble, what you're going to have to do is call back and get uh, Carla, as as she okay. is the lead on this. And sure. uh, unfortunately, uh, Carla is out today, uh, so you'll be able to get in contact with her in uh, two to three days, and uh, okay. you'll be able to talk to her, let her know that you talked to me, that we filed this report. And everything is going to be good. And uh, while you may have to be concierge for a few more days, you will be rocking a brand new. And I look at uh, Saito's website in my other eye computer thing uh, to bring sure. up the most up to date new basic model. Uh, sure. Snake. That's OK. That's I. you know what? Thank you. Thank you. Can I? Is there going to be a survey? Because I want to take the survey afterwards, if that's OK. Like, like send, just send me the the. The link to it, and I'll fill it sure, out. Sure, we have uh, all your information here, and uh, once this call is over, you'll probably get a blip about it. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. I'm glad I could help, and uh, hope to see you dancing again real soon. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, you hang yes. up the phone. Um, you get a you get a text from Sid. It just says, "We got it." Okay. Meet me. Meet me at. Meet me at the docks. Okay. So before I meet him at the docks, yeah. Okay. Well, I am. I have loyalty with Sid. There's a lot of money yep. on the line with this, so I'm leaving sure. Pi with a stack of all the information and proof. Okay. Just in case things go south, and I sure. send Pi uh, to some place that Sid doesn't know about that only she and I would know about from our days as friends. Sure, sure, sure. Which is a place that can be discussed if we need to get there. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Um, you guys, she, you send her you send her to your college dorm or sure. whatever. That okay. makes sense. So she's hanging out there. You head down. You Okay. So the final, the, the big question, maybe the final question of yes. the adventure is how do you get down to the docks which is you're going to you you can you can spend a cred to take a cab but then there's going to be a cab driver on the scene okay you can tap one of your favors but then they're going to be on the scene or you can tap pi and then tell her to bolt but there's no promising that she'll that she'll listen 
Well, shit. <laughs> well, the problem is, Sid is my ride. Sid is your is your ride. Sid's already there. He is already there. Pi has the car. She does have a car. You know what? I I'll 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 have to take a taxi down to the dock okay. and uh, hope that he's not secretly a Saito assassin. Okay. Uh, he's okay. he's not. He's- you spend the cred and you head down there. He departs. Um, Sid is waiting. Actually, Sid is not waiting. It's going to be – it's a – there's somebody else is waiting, but you know as Sid's intermediary. Okay. His second, if you will, waiting. He meets you. So um, so sorry to hear about your uh, sudden inflammation of – and he looks at an index card. Aging. Aging. Whatever. So sorry to hear about that. Um, I have spoken to my pharmacist, and he hands you, like, a bag, a brown paper bag full of, like, uh, the middle, full of, like, samples of the Orion pathogen. Okay. At that moment, you see cars pull up in the distance, and you you see them get out and point at you. All right. These are more men in suit, more Saito men. Great. I love those guys. So they are running. They're like a ways down the docks. So so you can evade them. You can open fire. You can do a third option to really blow my mind. But you've got the pathogen. Yeah. Pi has the information. So if you get out of here, you can blow the conspiracy wide open. And you might not take down Saito, but at least in this instance. I'm trying to think of what my skills are here that could help. So we're at the docks. Yes. Now these future docks, do we have any kind of dock vehicles? Sure. Yeah, there are um, some forklifts and stuff. Okay, I was thinking more of like uh, like an airboat. <laughs> uh, at that moment, you know what? At that moment, um, you know, no, you know what? Yeah, there is a um, like a, one of those like touristy kind of – Take a fly in an airplane planes that like lands yes. in the water. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. the ones we're talking Pontoon about. Yeah, boat. yeah. Yes. There's one of those. Bon- yeah, yeah. Exactly. There's one of those little tiny airplanes, uh, like the two person planes. I make a run for it. Yeah. It's okay, you make it there before they get to you, but they have pulled out their guns. Okay. So I'm going to need you. Um, you're able. You're a trained pilot. You're a military yes. kid. You're able to get Perfect. it started. So I am going to need okay. you to roll. Roll your uh, operate. They're gonna uh, the eject. The number is three. Four and a three. No, wait. Good. So you did it. You nice. evaded them. You can spend one of your three points to make that a lasting thing, or else you may have to evade someone else. If you if you thoroughly evade them, then you then you can get then you can land it on the other side of the river safely. I'm gonna use one of my uh, push points because I want them to be okay. completely flabbergasted. Yeah, you. They are flying. There's a really great tracking shot from the front of the plane as they're opening fire, and it just zooms in on your face. And like the um the the intermediary pulls his gun, and he's opening fire, and it's all slow motion. And there's some doves, and it's just beautiful. You touch down on the other side of the river, which is where your college dorm room is, of course. because you guys went to Riverfront Riverside University, Riverdale. Um. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Uh, so Pi Larson is there. You hand off the sample. We cut to one of those like twirling newspapers <laughs> and it says like scandal, uh, like mind control, mind control drugs, Saito University scandal. Newspapers have really lost their ability yes. to write headlines. Also that they still twirl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We uh, we see a twirling BuzzFeed article that says that says. What the what Saito University added to their added to their Orion pathogen will surprise you. Which which horrible Saito conspiracy are you? Yeah, exactly. So, um and that's you've you know, you've brought a semblance of justice to Michelangelo Dumas, at least for now. There's no telling what the future will hold, especially considering that you are in the future. Exactly. But I think that's game. Cool. We solved it. <laughs> We cracked nice. the case. I feel really good about that. That was that super was good fun. Time. 
That was a really good time. Luke, thank you so much for coming back on the show. Thank you for having me. I'm glad we resolved this two-parter in grand fashion and I didn't die. Yeah, I felt really good about it. Um, Yeah, so Comics Alliance, Arcade Sushi, M. Luke Brown on Twitter. Um, I love it. Yep. I don't have to worry about self-promotion because you're doing it all for me. You're my hype man. I'm your hype man. I like that. I'm putting that on my Twitter profile, official hype man. Um, Cool. Well, then I'm going to throw it over to me in the future so you can wrap up the show then. You're in the future too. That's crazy. Yep. We're all in the future. Oh, am I on? You didn't say take it future me. That's my cue. You... How many times have we done this? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, thanks again to Luke for coming on the show. That was so much fun. Be sure to check out Comics Alliance, Arcane Sushi, and follow Luke on Twitter at mlukebrown. And then while you're on Twitter, head over and follow the show at Party of One Pod. Then click over to Facebook and like the show at facebook.com slash Podcast. Want to help support the show? The best thing that you can do is to tell a friend, whether you recommend the show on social media or leave a nice iTunes review. Exposing new people to the show is the best way to help it grow, and I really, really appreciate it. Party of One is produced by Jen Frank and Jeff Stormer. This episode edited by Jeff Stormer. Music for the show comes from the song Infinite Lives by Mega Ran, featuring the D&D Sluggers. Until next time, party people, thanks for listening, and remember, it's never as bad as it seems. You're much stronger than you think you are. Trust me. Never gonna die.